Hi folks, in this particular lecture, I will show you how you can run your cloud function in a cloud run environment. So as you know, when you create a cloud function, what happens is that internally this cloud function gets converted into a container image. Now this happens using Webpacks. Now for more information about Webpacks, I have created another video for that. And I will share the link to that video in the description below. So let's go ahead and create this particular function. So I'll click on create function. I will let it be an unauthorized invocation. I'll click on save. I'll click on next. And I'll deploy this particular function. So when I deploy this function, what happens is that cloud build will use webpacks to create a container image of this particular function. So let's just wait for this particular function to be deployed. So now that you can see that this particular function has been deployed, let's go to the cloud registry and see whether a container image has been created out of this particular function. So to do that, you can click on your hamburger menu, go to your container registry and click on images. So you can see that there is an entry here. Now this entry is basically that of the same cloud function that we've just created. So if you open this, it'll show you the region. And this is basically the container image that we've just created. So what I will do is I will use this container image while I'm creating my cloud run application. So let's go to the cloud run application. So I'll go to my cloud run. And I'll create a service. I'll be using a cloud run fully managed service. So Let's just wait for this to be enabled. Meanwhile, I'll just give a service name for my. So I'll just call this cloud function. I'll click on next. And here I need to give the container image URL. So I'll click on select. I'll go to the container registry and here I will just give the image of that cloud function, image of that cloud function that I've just created. So this is that same cloud function that I just created previously. I'll click on this and I'll click on select. And that's it. You can just click on next and create this cloud run environment. I'll click on create. Okay, I'll click on. So let's just wait for this particular cloud run environment to be up. And now that this environment is up, let's just click on this URL. You can see that it has returned an output. So this was the same output that was returned by the cloud function. So this is how you can use your cloud function code in your cloud run environment. I hope this was a useful lecture for you. And thank you and please do not forget to subscribe.